Meow and hello! The Cat Protector Noel Rosen here. And I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I'd kind of reconnect. A lot of good, got a lot of good positive things going on around here. But uh, I wanted to clear the air about something that happened a couple of days ago. As many of you know, Senator John McCain held a town hall here in Phoenix to talk about Syria and illegal immigration. Well, a couple of people got a chance to talk about illegal immigration, but really the whole town, most of the town hall, a majority of it, was about Syria. And a lot of people were against attacking Syria, including myself. I said, I stood up for Israel. That was my thing. I, I basically pointed, you know, made the point that we go in and we attack Syria, guess what? They're going to attack Israel. That's going to be the first target of retaliation. I believe that. Uh, you know, Assad's a bad guy because he's Iran's puppet. On the other side, we have the so-called rebels who basically are made up of uh, Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations uh, and a few other, you know, bad people. But the biggest talk of uh, the town hall, something that's exploded all over the net. It's been in the media. I mean, this just thing got bigger than I thought it would be is the bag of marshmallows that I held up to point out to McCain that that's what I thought of Congress. And basically it was to state how soft they've become against Obama. I mean, they're not standing up to him. You know, all of his outrageous spending on all of his vacations and, and, and everything, Congress doesn't say, seem to say no to the, to the guy. Uh, all, look at all the scandals. Ben, Benghazi, uh, Fast and Furious, the IRS targeting conservative groups, uh, fast, fast and Furious. I mean... No real que the the American people have gotten no real answers about any of it, and the members of Congress are supposed to represent we the people, not themselves, but we the people. They're supposed to be standing up for the Constitution. That's what that whole marshmallow thing was about. That's why I brought the bag of marshmallows. That's what I was trying to point out. Now it was funny. Yeah, it was meant to be you know some humor, but the message was pretty serious. You know, it was a pretty direct message, and that's what I was trying to convey. So I hope that clears the air about it, because some some humans got it, some humans didn't. The cats always get it. But that's why I brought the bag of marshmallows. And after the town hall, well, Senator McCain even signed the bag of marshmallows. Here they are. Here's the signature so you can see. Hopefully, there you go. There's the bag of marshmallows. Um, signed by Senator McCain. So, <laughs> he even brought his own pen. Now, I had, a, I had a Sharpie, but he wanted to use his, and who might argue. He signed the bag. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how the town hall went for uh, went for me. And yet, this has gone viral. So it's gotten a lot further than just, you know, that room. It was, the media carried it. And I think the message has been sent loud and clear. Now, I was only speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for anyone else. But that's how I felt about Congress and their refusal to stand up to Obama. So that's what it was all about. So I hope that clears up the air. We're doing a lot of other good things around here, but I'll catch you up later. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you again. Thanks for watching.